people you ran into? Yeah, yeah, he's at the health food store. We were talking. Oh. I've, I've known the guy before in, uh, in the past, and he was just talking about your show yesterday. So, Oh, that's cool. Um, awesome. So it's get, the word's getting out. Yeah. The bright side is getting out. I never know who's listening. Sometimes oh, I think yeah. nobody's listening. But no, I, I used to think that, but now I know people <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. A couple things. It's hard to, by your description, it's hard to tell uh, if it's psoriasis or ringworm. Ringworm typically will be a circular thing, and that's a fungal infection. Psoriasis is more of an immune condition. Do you have any other health issues? This is how you do it, by the way, for the listeners and as well right. as for uh, as well as for Tom. The, you want to look for other health challenges. Anything else going on? And sometimes you have to really look because they go under the radar. They go stealth on us. Anything else going on? Digestive issues, blood sugar, weight changes. How old are you? Thirty. I'm 37. 37. Any any changes with your weight that you notice dramatic changes or any kind of changes? Anything? Not not no? not not so much on the weight. I mean. Uh, okay. Well, you don't have to tell us here. I don't want to put you on this. I want you to think about it because that's important information. Because okay, okay. you want to start to form a picture. You got to collect the dots before you can connect the dots. You want to start to form right. a picture of what's happening in your body. So right now it's hard to go on. To, to skin conditions tend to be, uh, for the most part, signs of something inside the body, not topical. Now the way you're describing your th- condition, it could be something called a, a, a ringworm. Have you heard of that? Mm-hmm. Ringworm yes, will be a circu- Ringworm will, will be a little ring, ring, and it'll be like a little rash. It's not really a worm. They call it a worm because it looks like a worm a little bit. Does it kind of have a, a wormy kind of look to it? A circular uh, worm. For, it, if you can, for, perhaps. I mean, this, it, the that's why it's called like ringworm it. anyway. Ringworm is a okay. fungal infection. Now, ringworm is not topical. Fungus always live on us, but they don't overgrow unless we got an imbalance between our good bacteria and our and our uh, uh, and our good fungus. We have good yeast, good fungus. Fungus and bacteria live in the body in in a peaceful relationship until one overgrows. And one overgrows when the under undergrows, and it's usually dysbiosis or messed up gut bacteria that is the, the, the triggering event. And that's very common, very, very, very common. So first things first, uh, uh, take okay. care of your gut bacteria. That would be the first thing you want to do. Uh, whether it's okay. ringworm or psoriasis or anything else for that matter, that's always the first step in taking care of your body, uh, is to, uh, aside from taking care of symptoms, is to address the gut. With the microbi- and its microbiome with probiotics. So bioluminately essence, and then support the environment for the, gut to li- for the bacteria to live in the gut, and that's by using fiber as well as uh, nitrates, nitrogen from vegetables. And when I say nitrates, I'm talking about from vegetables, nitrogen that's found in vegetables, nitrates and nitrites in vegetables. We talked about how important these things are a couple months back, even though you hear all this negative stuff about nitrates and nitrites, they're incredibly functional and important when they're in veggies. So doing veggie juices along with your probiotics, fermented foods, of course, will get you all that, plus, you know, in one, one package. So if you can take the time to make some sauerkraut or fermented beets or other fermented foods and it doesn't take much work, that's another strategy for you. And then uh, fiber okay. also. You can do just straight fiber. I grind up flax seeds every morning and do it, or you can get your fiber from your veggies. Topically, there's not much you could do, although they do make antifungal topicals like some uh, uh, nystatin is the most famous one. I'm sorry, uh, neosporin, which has nystatin in it. Nystatin is actually a prescription, but if you get neosporin uh, with nystatin in it, that will help with the, with, I'm pretty sure neos, I should look that up before I say it. Look for topical antifungal. There's also something called myconazole, which is a topical antifungal. So myconazole will work. And, and just if you have a fungal infection on the skin sometimes, vaginal fungal infection creams will work too. Those typically have myconazole or something else, clotrimazole, something like that in there. Uh, and that will work topically if it is indeed ringworm, might work topically. But I'd be taking care of my gut bacteria. That would be the first thing to do. Okay? Okay. And it, Yeah, and just curious, can you do like too much of that stuff? I mean, because I've too much what? listened to you really, like, you know, too many probiotics or... Well, it's yeah, not just, that. It's not a blanket. You could do too much of some nutrients. Absolutely, zinc, selenium. Your minerals are the ones you got to be careful of. Especially, well, all minerals are you want to be careful of. But the ones that are lower down on the periodic table tend to be more dangerous to work with. Selenium, copper, zinc. These you can definitely take too much of. Uh, it, it's difficult to take too much calcium or magnesium and potassium. But but the ones, if you look at the periodic table, you'll see some that are at, towards the middle or in the bottom part of it, the lower part of it. And those are the ones that are super duper active. You got to be careful with. But as far as vitamin yeah. the, the, the water soluble vitamins, it's impossible pretty much. Vitamin C and the B complex. If you take too much vitamin C all at once, you'll get a little bloated or gassy. You may get feel uncomfortable, but it's not going to be toxic. 
Uh, vitamin, right. the fatty vitamins, DEEK, D-E-A and K, a little bit trickier to work with, but still, for if, if you're reasonable about how you use them, you don't have to worry about overdosing on them. If you're reasonable, I mean, you could swallow the whole bottle of vitamin A and go into something called hypervitaminosis, where you'll get jaundice because of all the stress on your liver, but you'd have to do the whole bottle or huge amounts. Uh, just common sense, you take them in a common sense fashion, not an issue. Although, interestingly, sure. lately, there's been some literature that's talking about uh, taking too much probiotics. I'm not sure if I'm buying into that. Uh, I gotta, I'll gotta. i let you know as I read more about it. I'll, I'll let you know if you keep listening to the program. Does that help, Tom? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I okay, buddy. It. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. All right. Take care, man. All right. Uh, Carl. Oh, shoot. Carl, call back. I just hung up on you. I apologize for that. I had Carl, the truth raider, on there. If you can call back, Carl, we got a couple minutes to talk to you. I apologize. That was That's on me. And... Uh, I, uh, shoot, I hit the wrong button on that. All right, if you guys are interested in checking out the Longevity products, please head to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. All the Longevity products are up there, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack. And I'd especially like to have you on my team. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team, if you want to start yourself a longevity business, if you're interested in helping spread the word, we can help you do that. I can personally help you do that by doing three-way phone calls, and I, uh, if you have enough people, I can fly out and do presentations to help you drive your business. If you want more information, you can either head to the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or you can also go to pharmacistben.com. Uh, you can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They're friendly and knowledgeable and know all about the longevity business. Some of them, some of the folks on the phone team have made some significant, uh, made some significant money selling longevity and, and being part of the longevity family in addition to helping people and helping change lives with nutrition and nutritional supplementation. And of course, if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, if you're interested in anti-aging, folks, it's all about the retinol and vitamin C. In fact, those are the two ingredients. If you're stranded on a desert island and you can only bring two ingredients for your skin, it's vitamin C in its fatty form, not just ascorbic acid, not the crappy stuff, not the stuff that turns brown in the bottle, the fat-soluble, stabilized premium form that uh, goes by the name of ascorbyl palmitate or ascorbyl tetra iso palmitate. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. All right. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the liver and blood sugar issues and vitamin E, tocopherol on the bright side. Have yourselves an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.